Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Malik Jyot 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. So today it is going to be one of the continuation series for my Terraform tutorial. And if you missed out my previous uh, sessions, you can always go back to YouTube and search for Malik Jyot 34 and then uh, go to the playlist and you can search Terraform tutorial and you can get uh, all my previous sessions. And in this particular today's session, I'm, what I'm going to cover, uh, how you are going to connect to your uh, Terraform providers and then how you are going to download the plugins just to make sure that your terraform server is able to connect to all the major service provider major cloud vendor and from there it is it is gonna able to download the plugins so whatever i'm gonna cover today's session everything is going to be available the course material available in my uh, blog malik 34 blogspot.com you can always visit malik 34 blogspot.com and go to DevOps and Terraform section. So all the course material, everything you are, you're gonna get it over there, okay? And then in this particular today's session, what I'm going to do, uh, I just logged into my Terraform server here. I'll just uh, verify my Terraform version, Terraform version. So this is V1, uh, the latest release from Terraform. So I have five directories, if you see here, one is AWS, one is GCP, and other one is Kubernetes, OpenStack, and vSphere. I, I took these five major uh, service provider, and then I'm gonna uh, get into each one of them, and then you know I'm gonna download the uh, plugins for uh, those service vendors. So if I see, I have only main.tf here. If I can cat that one, uh, nothing much inside that. I just mentioned providers, AWS, and empty open bracket, and empty close bracket. So what it is going to do, if you do Terraform in it, it is this particular uh, Terraform file, main.tf, is going to connect to AWS and it's going to download the uh, you know Terraform plugin for AWS. So if I do just simple Terraform in it, it's going to connect to Hasikar, AWS, and it's going to download the latest AWS plugin. This is V349, right? You can see here, it downloaded the plugin. It's successful, Terraform has been successfully initiated. So if I do ls ltr a, that's a hidden directory. If I do a, you will see dot Terraform here. Earlier when I did a ls ltr a, there are no hidden directories. After I did a Terraform init, it connected to my uh, AWS because this particular main.tf contains a provider and I defined with AWS. So it will connect to my AWS providers and it will download the uh, plugin over there. So if you see, I have dot uh, Terraform file here. If I go inside that dot Terraform file, and if I do LS, I can see providers. If I can go inside and do LS, and I can see registry.terraform.io. If I go further inside, and I can see Hachikarp, and if I go inside, and I'll see AWS, and if I go again inside AWS, I'll see AWS version 3.49.0. That's what we downloaded here, v3.49.0. So if I go inside that, you will see the zip file, right? So that's a Linux, uh, you know, 64 bit. If it's a Windows, it will be like Windows 64 bit. If I go inside, you can see Terraform provider AWS underscore v3.49.0x5. Uh, so this is your a Terraform a provider plugin. Uh, for your AWS. So each of these, uh, for for any of the cloud providers, the moment you do initialize, so it's gonna download the plugin for uh, the respective providers. If I can go back all the way, um, and then I log into my GCP now, right? So inside GCP, if I go here also, I don't have anything. If I cat my, uh, main file again it has a simple command providers connect to google and open bracket and close bracket if i do initialize this terraform this main.tf file it's going to connect to google cloud and it's going to download my uh, google provider plugin terraform init right see hasikarp a uh, google so it's going to connect connected to my google cloud provider and it's going to download uh, you know the the google provider plugin that is v3 79 75.0 so here right if you see the main.tf file i have not given any of the credential or nothing if you just give a, just a provider name that's a google aws vsphere openstack kubernetes anything it will default connect to my hashicorp and respective providers and it will download the plugins if i again check here 
ls hyphen ltra you can see dot terraform is a hidden directory and if i go all the way further registry hashicar google and do ll you can see this is the latest uh, plugin has downloaded here linux right so you can see terraform provider google underscore v375.0 so this is the latest plugin provider for my uh, google cloud again if i go all the way back right so now what i'll do i will go inside my kubernetes and then if i again do a cat of that here also simple command providers a kubernetes open flower bucket and close flower bucket i'll just do terraform init for this one as well right so it connected to hashicarp kubernetes and then kubernetes v2.3.2 this is the latest version for kubernetes it downloaded if i go again check ls hyphen ltra hidden directory go inside terraform providers registry dot terraform dot io hashicarp and kubernetes and 2.3.2 .2 and this is for linux 64 bit if i do ll Terraform providers, Kubernetes, v2.3.2.5. So this is the way you can verify whether uh, uh, your Terraform server is able to reach to uh, your respective providers or not. All right, so now Kubernetes is done. Uh, I'll go for one more. That is my vSphere and later I can talk about OpenStack. All right, so here, uh, again, inside vSphere, I can see only the main.tf and it has a provider, vSphere, open flower packet and close flower packet. So again, I'll initialize this, uh, this particular Terraform uh, script, Terraform init, done. So it's gonna connect to my Hashicarp site and it will go to vSphere providers and the latest pro uh, plugin available for vSphere is v2.0.2. And if I do ls ltra for this one, again, I can see this hidden directory here. Providers registry at terraform.io, Hashikar, vSphere 2.0.2, .2, and Linux 64. If I can see Terraform provider vSphere v2.0.2. .2. That's the latest provider available for my vSphere. And if I go back all the way and my last uh, A last cloud provider that is uh, OpenStack. If I go inside OpenStack, uh, inside OpenStack, uh, I can see cat main.tf. I can see simply providers, OpenStack, open flower bucket, close flower bucket. If I try to do initialize for this OpenStack, it will not work out. It will fail. Uh, it's a try to connect to Hachikarp OpenStack. It will fail with the you know connectivity issue because. OpenStack is not a uh, it, it is it is not a public uh, 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 vendor. It's an open source. Uh, first, you need to build your OpenStack uh, uh, cloud, and then you need to pass the credential for the OpenStack in order to check the connectivity. Because all whatever I showed, AWS, GCP, vSphere, and uh, Kubernetes, all are like a, a private uh, cloud providers, and uh, all uh, all the plugins are already available on the on the cloud. So in order to work with the OpenStack, first, since OpenStack is an open source software, you need to install open so OpenStack soft uh, cloud first. Uh, you have to locally, you have to build your OpenStack cloud, and then you have to pass those credential in order to check the plugin pro plugin download for your OpenStack. So this is a simple uh, technique, simple way how you can verify your Terraform server connectivity to the major cloud providers. Uh, without passing any of the credential. So just to summarize, uh, for AWS, it's gonna be provider, AWS, open bucket and close bucket. And for vSphere, it's going to be provider, vSphere, open bucket and close bucket. Similarly for Google, provider, Google, open bucket and close bucket. And similarly for Kubernetes, providers, Kubernetes, open flower bucket and close flower bucket. And similarly for uh, OpenStack, it's gonna be providers, open stack, open flower bucket and close flower bucket. And you need to pass the uh, credential for that in order to verify the, uh, you know, uh, that particular providers. And again, 
uh, all the providers plugins will be available inside the directory where you ran where you initialize that one with the terraform init command and there you will see dot terraform has a hidden directory and if you go inside that you will see all the providers plugins available once you download the providers plugins then later you can start working with your uh, uh, pro, uh, you know you working with your main script and you can write uh, whatever the script you want like provisioning uh, you know instance or deleting the instance or uh, providing provisioning the load balancer or provisioning the vcp or provisioning the uh, you know dns server or whatever it is like you know you can uh, do all the uh, activities by writing the code inside your main.tf and uh, you know other further tasks so in in my next session i'm going to uh, start with uh, building a sample script for aws gcp kubernetes openstack and vSphere and then we'll validate how to uh, deal with all of these major cloud vendors and we'll see sample of uh, terraform script for provisioning the instance load balancer or the uh, you know uh, network load balancer or the uh, vpc so all all those things we will we'll see it in uh, in our next class until then thank you guys bye